Hey y'all, this is Bill Hewitt uh, with a very good friend and customer, Tyler Wilfong. Pleasure. Tyler brought me this truck from New Jersey that had, uh, you know, it's 230,000 mile F-250 long wheelbase. Truck ran good. I mean, it ran really good, but it had some rust issues and, and you know, because the COVID, you know, we've had extra time. Uh, we don't usually have a lot of time to do a lot of the extra work that we did for him on this truck, but I was able to reach out to infrastructure that I have here, and we really, truly did a full restoration on this truck. I think about the only thing we didn't do was the interior. Yeah. You know, the armrest was about the only thing we did on the interior, but, but the body got a restoration, uh, had some rust issues. We, we found him a bed, uh, found him uh, a couple fenders, uh, factory fenders, and a couple doors, because uh, they were starting to, you know, rusty, rusty, but they were well on their way to being being rusted through the bed was pretty rough. I guess the question I have for you, you know, you're you're a, you're a young man. You know, you spent, you know, well north of twenty thousand dollars on this truck to do the paint and the and the body work and the and the engine and do all this restoration. I mean, why would you, why would you spend that money on a truck this old? Why why would you do that? It was the first truck I ever owned, so I love it to death. Can't get rid of it. They don't make these trucks anymore like they used to. All the emissions crap that's on these new trucks, I can't stand the death and stuff. So. Having this and having it run good, see why I run, why I put the money into it because you know it's what it is. It's the 6.0. You know they tried and chew up motors. Everybody's hated on them for a while, but they're really good engines. And I want to put all my money into it. Well, and you know experience has proven over. You know, we've been working on these things for 15 years now, and it's proven that the bottom end of this engine is just about indestructible. I mean, the ones that we have to replace have been overheated, which you know. It's, it's, you know, overheating is, is not the engine's fault. Or the, the other thing that kills a, a lower end of these engines is somebody will have a, a blown EGR cooler and they'll, they'll say, well, I don't have the money to fix it right now and they'll leave it parked and all that water had run down in there and that will, that will ruin the bores. Those are that and camshaft. The other thing is the camshaft coming apart, which of course we put the shorter push rods in there now, so you're not going to have that problem. Pretty much lower end of this engine's unkillable and so really, you know, what we've done is we, we brought it all up, to, all back up to the factory specification with the oil cooler and the, we did our cylinder heads, the big dog cylinder heads, and that just solves the head gasket problem. And the tuning that we run in this is uh, best power and economy uh, that you can get safely. So, you know, we have a good package. It's been proven thousands and thousands and thousands of times uh, that, that this works. And, you know, uh, and I, I appreciate your confidence in bringing your truck down here, you know, to Georgia, because you're from New Jersey. Yeah. What town in New Jersey? Manalpa. Manalpa. Yeah. Where's that? Philadelphia end or the New York end? New York end. Okay. It's like it's like Central Jersey. <laughs> okay. Okay. But it's gritty. I mean, you got it's got salt in the winter, right? Oh, salt in the winter, and it's and it just lasts till almost springtime. The salt. In the so you're gonna have you're gonna have a wintertime vehicle now. You're gonna park this one in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good deal. I did undercoat it. We got it all undercoated with the New Hampshire oil there. That uh, it's that's really good stuff. So even if you have to ride it a little bit in the winter, you're gonna be you're gonna be protected. So yeah. let's take a look at this truck. So this is Tyler's bed. Uh, as you can tell, around the fender wheel wells and whatnot, it was it was pretty well ate up. Uh, but the cab corners were good, and the, and the rockers were good on his truck. Uh, but this is just beyond you know putting skins, side skins, and and the, the rails across of the other part. You know underneath here, you ever look at a truck you know for sale? Always just poke your head under the wheel well and check these rails going across here, because uh, they they were pretty pretty far gone. So the bed was the bed was trashed. Of course, I had some good southern, you know, rust-free beds laying around. I just, you know, I had I had one that was actually a long wheelbase, which was hard to get. Just happened to have one that came off this truck uh, that we, we, you know, I bought for the engine to the suspension. Uh, so this all these axles will end up going under an excursion at some point. But we had a good bed on it, and we were able to get him where he needed to go. So this is a really pretty truck. It's uh, it's the green metallic uh, paint on it. Yeah, tell me the story about the bumper. Tell them the story about the bumper here, where you you it saved your it saved you one night, right? Yeah, it saved my truck one night. I was going uh, on a back road coming around a blind corner and I hit a deer at 55 miles an hour and completely demolished the deer and the truck was saved. Thanks. Oh, wow. The, the deer bounced off or did you go completely over it? Completely over it. Completely oh, wow. Double un double axled it and came right, hit the steering in the front and bounced out the back. <laughs> wow. So that really made, that bumper really made a difference. The thing's heavy. We had to leave it on there for the process of, of, of the dealer proofing. Uh, let the cab and just kind of fight around the darn thing, but it was, you know, it's a, a valuable piece of equipment out in the country, you know. Uh, so we got a full repaint on this truck. Uh, the doors were changed out, front doors were changed out. 
Um, he had rust along the bottom of his doors, but his rockers, you know, the rockers are in good shape. And the uh, and most importantly, the cab corners back here. If you get rust back here uh, in these areas, it's very very difficult to straighten out. And of course, his bed is nice and straight and clean now. You know, the paint looks fantastic. They do a good job at that place. And luckily, they weren't real busy. You know, COVID freed up some some production uh, space that we could fit this truck in. And everybody's kind of freaked out. And it's like these guys needed work. You know, they you can uh, work. And on these types of trucks and still be social distancing. Yeah, it turned out real nice. The truck the truck looks good. Still has some spots, you know, the frame still has this on here. It's still got that crustiness to it, but we sprayed the oil on it and the oil penetrates it. Now, the New Hampshire oil, make sure you know this, New Hampshire oil or some similar type product has to be done every year. If you put paint on that rust like that, it'll encapsulate it and it actually makes it worse. Where if you uh, you spray the oil on it, it, oil soaks in, and it actually uh, will stop the rust where it's at. So it doesn't look great under here. We could have painted this black, but it actually works against you uh, to paint over rust like on a frame. But the important pieces like the like the hangers, you know, like the spring hangers and these parts, none of those were beat up too bad. So you know they're they're still intact. But once those start to get flaky uh, and start deteriorating, then you know we got much more serious problems. So, you know, rust-wise, the truck did have a little bit of rust, but we were able to, you know, work around it and still make the truck viable. How about you pop the hood for me and let's take a look under there. So you'd done some stuff to this before you brought it to me, right? Yes. What, what did you done, had you done to this truck before you brought it here? So what I did before I brought it here, I put the Mishimoto radiator, intercooler, and transmission cooler in here. And okay. I also put the coolant filter in there. Okay. To stop all that stuff from circulating in the coolant. Right. And then I put, uh, I know you don't like them, but I put one of the, uh, the catches for the uh, crankcase ventilations. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. I'll, I'll no comment that. <laughs> I'll act like I didn't hear that. <laughs> But the factory system works better, you know. It, it's it's just it's it just seems to work better, and it puts because it really relieves the crankcase pressure, and uh, and uh, keeps the turbo seals from from failing. I mean, everybody out there, oh, you know, a lot of people don't understand about CCV is is that ones that are vented to the atmosphere are low RPM diesel engines. Okay, they're low RPM. This engine shifts at 3,200 RPM. Okay, when you're on it, it's 32, 3,400 is where it shifts at, and so. You know, it's a much higher RPM than the old Detroits and the old, you know, 466s and stuff from back in the day. where I mean, you could vent those to the atmosphere. This this engine runs a lot more RPM, and it really needs to have the CCV be done correctly. But it's your truck. You do whatever the hell you want. I'm not going to warranty the cur turbo, though. You know. Okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> air intake. Yeah, SMB cold air intake, and then I put a KC turbo on there. And then I have the uh, KC turbo intake manifold, so it flows more air okay. to the engine. And then I have the uh, sensor diesel exhaust manifold on there. Okay. Well. Did we put did we put injectors in this truck? Yes, you got okay. a full set. Of so we did injectors and a full set of brand new Alliant injectors is what we're running these days. And uh, so she starts up great on a cold morning. There you go. And included in the lifetime dealer proof is the uh, Power Hungry Performance Tuner here. It's still loading. So one of the primary purposes of this device that we sell with our lifetime dealer proof uh, package is this CTS, edge derived CTS. And it, the big thing is your EGTs your, your, and your engine coolant temp and your engine oil temp. These, these three right here are the primary ones. Transmission fluid temp, of course, is very important. But the big one is the EGTs. You don't want to run over 1400 sustained. The alarm actually comes on at about 1250 tell you to slow your ass down before you hurt something. When you're jumping in traffic and on the freeway with a with a trailer or something like that, if it runs up to 1415 for just a second, it's okay. It's just don't leave it there sustained, like pulling a long grade. Okay? And you're able to keep track of your, your temperatures here. It's a big deal. Now your battery voltage, it actually has your RPM too and boost. But uh, but the big thing are those are these temperatures right here. Let's go for a ride in it. What do you say? All right. So we you wanted a different exhaust on this truck because your other one was pretty rusty, right? Yeah. So we ended up going with I guess with more of a straight pipe. 
you'll know you'll know by the time you get back to New Jersey whether you like this or not. You're either gonna be friends with it or you won't. Alright, so we got a nice straightaway we can jump on it a little bit here. Low traffic, see what she's got. There you go. And that's the way a six liter is supposed to run. Didn't run like this before, did it? Nope, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I like, a customer that's happy with what we turn out. Nothing better than that. One of the things a lot of people don't know about these trucks is when they initially sold the trucks in 03, they were in a horsepower war with General Motors, okay? But then it, then all the warranty claims started to flood in, so by 05, 6s, and 7s, they detuned them uh, so as to avoid head gasket warranties and this sort of thing. I really tune these trucks to an early 03 type tuning where you jump on it, it should go. And now that we have the, the big dog O-ring cylinder heads on here, you know, it'll stand up to the cylinder pressures of a strong 03 type tune. Yeah, she's kind of whistly when you roll the window down. Yeah, she's whistly a little bit. You need to keep the windows up. Yeah. You know, just make sure you lift the pedal when you go past law enforcement and you'll be okay, right? Yeah. You roll the window down, you can really hear it. Sounds good, dog. All right, here we go. Get on. There you go. How about that, huh? That puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? This is the way these trucks are supposed to run. When you don't have all the California tuning and all the horse shit on there designed to save you from yourself. The government is here to save us from ourselves. Did you know that? Well, you live in a communist state, New Jersey. Oh, yeah. Dolly Do-Good running the place telling you how to live your life. Oh, yeah. And she has a nice whistle at idle. It's a pretty good exhaust. What was that exhaust? It's a MagnaFlow. So it's a MagnaFlow straight pipe? Yeah, four inch straight, the five inch tip. Okay, cool. Do you have to have this truck inspected every year? Nope. There you go. Uh, so Tyler, what is this device you got on your on your It's a dash cam, bro. Oh no kidding. Yeah. Like, the, like all the Russian motorcycle guys. Yeah, like those videos. They got a death wish in Moscow at rush hour. <laughs> yeah, like all the crazy dash cams you see. And, and but this thing has saved you pretty a couple times, huh? Yeah, it saved me out of a couple of fender benders out of paying tickets and uh, getting insurance, you know. Really? It keeps my insurance down, actually. I pay $50 less a month to have that on the truck today. No kidding. Yeah. So it's worth having. Well, I know some of the rental trucks, I've been considering putting those on just because you just don't know what the hell people are doing with your truck. Oh, yeah. But that's interesting. Dash cam actually saves you money on insurance. So what is it you do? So I'm a longshoreman. So part of my job is we go out and we fix the machines that stack these uh, rail cars up with these containers here that you see going by all over. So. Hey. You gotta be doing pretty good if you can afford the kind of money to spend on this truck here. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, you're in the box moving business, huh? Yeah, I'm fixing equipment that moves the boxes, yeah. Oh, no kidding. Big heavy machinery you see that's like 50 feet in the air. Yeah. Our engines are up there too, 50 foot. We're working on 11 liter Volvo engines, like 50 feet in the air. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, it's crazy stuff. That's, that's amazing. Well, it's gotta get done, you know? Somebody's gotta do it. That means Trumponomics is working right there. All that stuff getting moved, it costs money to move it. It takes money to make money. Ain't that the damn truth. Pretty good on the freeway, huh? Really good. Not so really you know, let us know what you get for fuel economy. This, you know, diesel's like tuning. So this is the maximum, you want to run it in maximum amount of tuning uh, to get the best fuel economy. Uh, diesel's, like I say, un unlike gasoline engines, like to be tuned. And uh, more tune you put to them, the, the better fuel economy you get. Just got to keep an eye on those EGTs when you're towing. That's the big, big thing is EGTs. You know, don't run the thing hot. And if you see a consistent EGT, uh, you know, elevated, then you got to switch the tunes down to the lower tunes because it's basically just taking fuel out. And the harder shift. I, I like a, a firm shifting uh, truck because it helps the transmission live longer. See. You got so you you've got one of the banks rear diff covers ordered. Yeah, I got one pre-ordered. And so, what do you got on there now? I got one of those high mag diff, flat back diff covers. Yeah. And uh, nothing but problems with it. They really? Tell, yeah, they tell you that it's cooling. It's better than that. No, nah, nothing but problems. It blows a uh, rear diff oil out of the breather tube and stuff like that when you fill them to their 
height that you want them to fill them, fill them at, which is like four quarts over full. No the, kidding. Yeah, it's craziness. And that fluid's expensive, man. Oh, yeah. It's like it's the like twenty-two dollars a bottle, isn't it? A quart? The friction modifier is like forty bucks. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you got so you got one of the banks ones coming, huh? Yeah, bank one coming. Yeah. Cool. I just want to thank you for your your business and uh, you know coming all this way. I mean, you know, New Jersey just isn't right next door. Twelve hour ride, you said? Yeah, twelve hours. Yeah, <laughs> we could do it in eight. You know, no, it's best just to follow the speed limit these days. I think. Yeah. I really appreciate you bringing it all this way, and I I hope you're happy in the years to come with the investment that you've made in your truck. Uh, you know, we take a lot of pride in what we do, and and uh, we uh, you know do everything we can to accommodate the uh, the customers out there, and I. I know y'all out there have trucks that need help and, and, and whatnot, so you know please bring them to us. So how do you feel about your truck after the test drive? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, it's really amazing. you're really happy, huh? Oh yeah. Well, good. Down. That's that's you know it's the artist in me. I always like my customers to be happy. So again, thank you very thank much. You. Give my best to your mom when you see her. I will. Tyler, what is this that come in the mail? That is the most gorgeous Ford Power Stroke diesel neon sign that I've ever seen. That was a beautiful gift from Tyler Wilfong from New Jersey, whose truck that we done almost a complete restoration on. Man, that's really cool. I like pretty shiny things. So do I. That's why you call me Bling. Bling, Bling. Love you, Tyler. I appreciate the sign, and you can see where it's at. It's hanging in my office. Look forward to seeing y'all soon. Thank you, Tyler. Love you too, Emily.